Okay. I always start by saying okay. But it is okay. Because we are started. Uh, yes. Here we go. For the first time in a long time, we are streaming. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know how to begin. It's been a long time. Um, all right. Here we go. Uh, we are playing Lunar the Silver Star. Hello, everybody. I hopefully, when I upload this to YouTube, oh my god, after like five seconds, it goes to the goddamn uh, trailer. Which the trailer is cool, not quite as good as the Super Nintendo, or not the, the PlayStation version. Oh god, here we go, it started. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, Alright, yeah, so um, this is the Sega CD version of Lunar, the first version of the game. I have played all of the versions of the game at this point. Um, I haven't beat all of them, but I have played all of them. And this one is really good. <laughs> I like this version for a couple of reasons. Uh, you know, the first one is it's got random battles. Instead of having the monsters on the screen, it is just 100% random. The overworld that actually is an overworld and has monsters on it that you can fight. Whereas the PlayStation version still has the overworld, but you don't fight monsters on it. So you just sort of travel from spot to spot. The graphics are bad, but they're actually pretty good because this came out in like 1993. So that's something to consider. And it's just, you know, it's kind of like my opinion with, uh, oh my God, what I'm trying to think of. It's my opinion with uh, Chiodos and a lot of music. Is like I kind of like the raw version, sort of the the uncut, unpolished version of things. I don't know why. I like things that are rough around the edges, and this is definitely a rough around the edges game for sure. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of it. Um, yeah. What else is there to say before we start? What is the story about? Well, we'll kind of get into the story, but a short story is it's about a boy who wants to become a hero. And that's Alex, and that's our character right there, uh, with the red hair. Uh, yeah, he's in love. Possibly. <laughs> it depends. The game is very much product of its time, though. So, like, it doesn't give you a lot of hints on what to go. You sort of have to figure out where you're supposed to go. Um, you, as long as you sort of explore everything and talk to everybody, you'll probably be able to figure it out. And that's just a very classic, uh... They're very classic early RPG sort of gist. You know, nowadays RPGs, I mean, some of them are still that way. Like, I feel like Persona is one of those games that sort of holds that, like, talk to everybody sort of feel. But there's definitely newer games and a lot of newer RPGs where they sort of streamline things so you don't have to, like, bug everybody and do everything just to figure out where to go. Anyways, uh,. Yeah, so we are... I'm going to leave it on long enough. I'm not going to read... Well, maybe I will. Um, this game does have voice acting in it. Not a lot, but it does have some voice acting, which is pretty cool. Again, it's 1993. So that part is really sweet. Ah, we'll read it. Uh, so, yeah, we kind of skipped the first part, but we have Alex here standing at the, um, the grave of his hero, Dragon Master Dime. Um, he visits the memorial to his fallen hero every day, and then of course, here we go. Great, great voice acting. There you are, Alex. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing back here? This is Nal. Listen, I know you really look up to Dragon Master Dine, but this is ridiculous. If Dine were still alive today, I'm sure he'd tell you to stop dreaming about his exciting quest. Get off your butt. Fucking <laughs> Alex <laughs> just stared at him. I know you have the courage to be a great hero, just like Dine. So what's holding you back? Alex, didn't you promise Luna that you'd practice singing with her today? And I'll join the party. Um, one of the things that I ran into when I was trying to set this up is I'm using uh, Fusion as the emulator for this. Uh, and for whatever reason, it doesn't save the game when you go to the regular save. So I will have to use save states, which is fine. But, you know, I would have preferred to actually have a real save file so that everybody didn't know I was using an emulator, which I am. Why am I using an emulator? Well, a couple of reasons. So, uh, first off, Lunar for the Sega CD is an expensive game. 
I did own it at one point, but I ended up selling it. So it's like a, in good condition with the box and everything. It's now like a couple hundred dollars. It's expensive. And on top of that, you need a Sega Genesis, which isn't that expensive. But then you need a Sega CD, which is kind of expensive. Not as expensive as this game, but it's kind of expensive. And then, of course, uh, you can always get, like, the Sega CDX, which is a Genesis-Sega CD combo in this cool little, like, fucking uh, Discman case. And you could actually use it as a Discman. And that is hundreds of dollars. So, basically, if you want to play this game, it's uh, pretty fucking expensive to do so. So, I hope you don't mind that I'm using an emulator. I, well, I don't think I'm going to get booted for using an emulator, I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. What does she say? It says, Here lies the spirit of the greatest of the four heroes. The Dragon Master rests peacefully dying. Cool. Also, my little laptop's kicking up. Why is my laptop kicking up? We're fucking playing a goddamn 1993 game. Anyways, we're about to meet another character. A little guy popping up. We got Remus. Hi, Alex. I've been looking all over for you. What's up, bud? Alex, guess what I just heard? Someone said that the dragon in the cave is a huge diamond. You've always wanted to go on a quest. Let's make this our first big adventure. Anyway, I've decided to go with or without you. I'll just stop by my house first to pick up snacks for the trip. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I can relate to that. All right, an adventure. Alex, I can hardly wait, but I bet Luna will be upset. Yeah, she will. All right, so we've got the town of Berg uh, that we live in here. You can see. Uh, get used to these kind of graphics because this game, now that I think about it, is kind of dark. Not like I mean, it's dark story plot wise too. Um, not that dark though. It's got a lot of funny bits to it, but the game visually, I can't fucking get across the bridge. The game visually is dark, so that's just part of the game. Everything is kind of dark. Like even this is supposed to be a happy little town. Look how fucking dark it is. Anyways, we're gonna go here. Uh, we're gonna meet up with Luna, who is another character in this game and a very important character in this game. And let's see, Alex, this is Luna's bouquet, but where is Luna? Good uh, morning, Alex. There we go. You're late again. <laughs> Did Ramus ever find you? You know, he seemed really anxious to track you down. But then he's probably hatching another harebrained scheme. Well, anyway. Let's just practice our song for the festival. Oh god. What just happened? Okay, I was like, no, don't freeze on me. <laughs> uh, this reminds me of the speedrun that High Spirits did at uh, RPG Limit Break one year. Just like, fucking <laughs> Alex and Nall are like, what the fuck is going on? Like, specifically Nall is like, oh my god, what the fuck is happening? This isn't what I signed up for at all. Just for a minute. What happened? Alex? Your harp. You're playing so strange. Is something bothering you? You can tell me. Alex. Please. Okay. So. Another thing about this game. As I said, this game has been remade many times. It was, again, originally on the Sega CD, the version we're playing. Uh, then it was released on the Sega Saturn, only in Japan. Then it was released on the PlayStation, in the US and everywhere else. Uh, and then there was a Game Boy Advance version, which has its... It's a Game Boy Advance version, it's very different. And then there's lastly the PSP version, uh, which is actually the background that I have for this, uh, this playthrough. I wanted to have a background for it, and I tried to find one for... The Silver Star, or the, just this game. But if you look up like pictures from this game, none of them are widescreen. So they all look really funky. So I ended up picking this one from Silver Star Harmony as the background picture. And you can see it even says Silver Star Harmony there. 
We'll talk more about it, but let's let's continue the journey. You've been so quiet. Talk to me, Alex. What's the matter? Luna. Aw, oh, Kyle. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, so Alex wants to go to the Dragon Cave with Remus. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Luna. Just doesn't want him to go. A uh, bunch of dots. Well, I've never been able to stop you from doing what you wanted to do before. So I guess all I can do is make sure to go along with you and stay out of trouble. Yeah, we got Luna. You know, Alex, there's an old chest in the basement. Maybe there's something we can use in it. Uh, one, Kyle, how you doing, man? Hope everything's well. Two, I just love that everybody follows you. It's great. Okay. Let's go to here. So, I know the first part of this game pretty well. Uh, I've played it a couple of times. Again, I have, I've only beaten this one once. So, as we get kind of later in the game, I don't have the same sort of memory on what you're supposed to do. But for the first little bit, I have a pretty good idea. So, I will talk to people. Will I? <laughs> I think I'll talk to people. Anyway, she wants us to check the basement. I think I remember their house. I think their house is up here. Uh, you're doing all right just working and running in two D&D campaigns? God damn, dude. That is a lot to manage. Uh, you're doing Preston's campaign, right? And then, uh, who's the other campaign you're doing? Okay. Well, let's talk to this little guy first. Tyne surrendered his life on his last journey to the distant frontier. In honor of his valiant life, a monument was erected here in Berg. Alex, you have the aura of a dragon mile. You must cultivate it. Thanks, man. Going here. Is this their house? Yeah, this is it. What up, kids? Are you taking a break from practice? Alex, you should pick up your room more often. Luna cleans her room, and I don't even have to remind her. Right, Luna? Okay, so weird. I don't know if it's going to do it in this game. There's a chest here. Uh, excuse me, you know, maybe, I don't know, a key might help here? Perhaps we should ask around, folks. Uh, David Nelson, you want to join the Tell Performance Group? I do. I do remember David Nelson. Um, he also worked with you at Thumbtack, right? Like, both of you worked together at Thumbtack. Uh, but that's cool. Two D&D &D campaigns. That's a lot to remember. Okay, so we gotta talk to the dad. The key to the chest in the basement? Okay, here you go. There's nothing important in it. Chest key received. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about inventory here in a little bit. There's a lot to talk about, or a lot to unpack in this game. She... All right, open. Looks like it contains a old sword and dirty clothes. Well, Alex, put on the battle clothes and garb that sword. Dagger and hidden clothes. All right, this is a good time to talk about it. Okay. So, in this version of the game, and in the PS1 version, you have a limited inventory. And when I say limited, I mean limited as hell. This is the inventory your character has in battles. No, David, that's David Wilson. David Nelson is a big, tall guy, beard. Big gauge is total weed. Uh, there's so many Davids, man. Um, I, so, the name sounds familiar, but I totally don't remember David Nelson that well, obviously. Um, yeah, so, you can see here, a very limited inventory. You have, like, Nalls. Oh, god damn it. You have Nall is, like, the rest of your inventory, right? So, we need to equip these weapons. So, you equip them pretty straightforward. Um, what is, what is she using? Peasant clothes. Okay. So, another thing, we'll get to all of it. Like, as I said, there's a lot to unpack with this game. Alright, so we've got a dagger and we got some clothes. But, uh, Luna has nothing. Uh, what, go into the dragon cave? Son, you're nuts. There are monsters in it. Okay. So now we need to talk to Remus. So, Remus is waiting. <sighs> In Preston's canteen, I rerolled Nyx, so no playing Wick. Uh, level 6 Sorcerers, level 1 Warlock. Oh, you multiclassed. Nice. How is it multiclassing in that game? And here's Remus. What's up, bud? Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's all set. Let's get going, Alex. What? Luna's coming too? Oh, well, she's okay, I guess. Anyway, right, come on, let's go. The Dragon Cave is waiting. Alright, so before we do that, is this his... Re uh, that's... I think this is Remus's house. Hey Remus, why don't you go to the villagers in the field? I can't now, Father. I'm going on an adventure that will make me so rich. 
Come on, Alex, let's move in. Boom, the adventurer waits. Hey, it's that old ring. You know, Alex, this may be very handy. I think I'll take it with us on the quest. In David playing the Warforged Tactical Force Generation Neverwinter Night, or T4NK for short, level 5 Paladin, level 3 Warlock. Damn, did you guys start out at that high a level, or have you been playing enough to where you leveled up that much? Okay, so, Lunar. This ring is pretty goddamn important. Uh, and it's... There we go. Okay, we can't equip it. Yeah, it's pretty important. Uh, normally, if you're playing this game for the first time, you wouldn't know about it. What you do is you end up going to the cave, which we'll probably do here in a second. And you gotta... Oh, fuck. I'm gonna walk around it. God, there's so much I remember about playing this game. This game's hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This game's kinda hard for a couple of reasons. One, there's no ends. No ends, no fucking uh, easy, like, places to sleep. None of that. So, that part is a pain. Um, all these guys. Little eight dudes. Okay. So you can do AI, which is fine. I don't like to do AI. That's just a personal thing. Um, you know, just finished the campaign in David's group pre-made. We ended up, we ended up that campaign to level eight, and this new one's a continuation. Cool. Well, it's awesome, man. I'm glad you got back into D and D. I know you were doing it online for a while, so uh, I have to ask, how does it compare going online to doing it in person? I think obviously we would prefer person, but what do you call kind of the difference? Fucking Venus flytrap. Yeah. Okay, so we're... Here's the other thing about this game. Um, if you watch speedrunners, they don't really have to grind. But I do. Just because it... Um, some of the bosses get pretty hard. And there's certain things that are just... The early... The early... Um... Lunar games are very different for, you know, again, there's no healing points or anything like that. Uh, you do have this right here, these chapels, or like pillars that come out of the ground. They do heal you. So, uh, you do have a place where you can heal. Of course, you have healing items. And yeah, w uh, kind of a weird thing that I don't know why they did this. So, there's two Lunar games in. Sort of. Obviously, there's a bunch of remakes. But there's two Lunar games that people generally accept as part of the Lunar, like, series. And that's Lunar the Silver Star, which is this one. And then there is Lunar Eternal Blue, which is another game that came out in the Sega CD and then later remade on the PlayStation. Weird thing about Lunar 2 um, is Lunar Eternal Blue... The experience you get from random battles is super low. So basically, the only way you level up, short of doing a lot of grinding, is to uh, just do the bosses. Which is weird. <laughs> so fucking weird. Yeah, David's campaign is done primarily with roll 20. Roll 20 is pretty handy in most regards, so as long as the DM has all the compendiums purchased, you can just drag drop and a lot of automatic calculations done for you. All right, we're gonna just, we're gonna level up uh, a level before we dive in. So we're just gonna do this for a minute. It's not too bad. Another th interesting thing about Lunar, and then I'll get back to you in a second, Kyle, um, is the fact that you play on a field in your battles. So as you can see, your character can move around in battles. This can be really important. Um, your placement can definitely matter when you're playing. So it's just something that uh, you want to think. Like, see, for example, Alex couldn't attack that bee up there because he um, was blocked by Remus. Yeah, Remus, take him out. Oh, fuck. Good thing we're right next to a healing spot. Also, Luna's about to die. Um, yeah, you've, so to Kyle's point, you've talked about Roll20 a couple of times, and... I, I kind of tried to use it, but I don't know. Everything makes sense with Roll20 except for combat. Combat is more complicated uh, for the DM than I would like. But hey, if it, if you can play like during these times, man, being able to play D&D at all is, is a testament. So, oh, God, 
See, this is... Now, one of the interesting things that happens over time in this game is you get more movement. So your characters can move farther, and you also get multiple attacks. That's another thing, too. And it's kill this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! Leveled up. See, number of attacks, two, number of moves, three. Um, I can't remember how to see... There we go. 13 to next level. One new thing they introduced on roll 20. Uh, the DM can drag and drop light sources, and the map will identify obstructions and cash out as represent the sign of cover. That is cool. See, I think the technology... Um, could be really helpful right like you know if you're doing a dungeon on paper it's kind of hard to like you can't really like draw everything oh she uh healed herself stop attacking luna kill him kill him luna don't go near him fuck she's gone one of the nice things though is people in this game when they die they don't die forever they just die until the end of the battle um i may may need to switch things up here because luna is gonna get zapped she is dealing virtually no damage <laughs> Hey, she actually killed something. Hey, Luna gained a level. Hell yeah. Fuck. Um, everybody's good on health. Um, if I remember right, when you level up in this game, you also get all of your health and MP back. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, but a major flaw is that the obstruction can't be designated with a certain height. So like when characters are flying, a fallen tree that obstructs the view on the ground equally obstructs the view of our flying characters 80 feet in the air. Oh, yeah. Still, I mean, the technology is pretty goddamn sweet. The fact that you guys can do that is awesome. So. Now, question. If you're doing it in person, could you still, like... What are your thoughts on using D roll 20 in person, right? Like, you could use paper and stuff for, like, other... I don't know. Because, like, the D&D uh, the &D group that I'm playing with, the, uh, the players, aside from Mary, are totally new to the game. Like, they've played a little bit before, but, like, not a lot. Um, so do you think something like roll 20 would help new players? God. Remus is just getting hosed by this guy. Alex gonna level. When the fuck does Remus level up? It's level three. Uh, if I remember right, Remus does not get a lot when he levels up. It's not great. Yeah, she's dealing three damage now. Okay. Let's heal. Let's head back to the town real fast. Just so... Oh, God. There we go. Oh, there's an... This is not the way. Eh, this is the way. Maybe. This could work out or be really bad. She's going right up in the front. Uh, except everybody's going after Alex, which is good. Motherfucker. Hey, once again, that one damage helped. Um, roll 20 does kind of ease the learning curve a bit, especially since most of the character sheet is automatically calculated. Even level ups, there uh, there's a character... Mancer that will walk you through uh, level up step by step, but the character Mancer is limited to the compendiums the DD has. DM has. That makes sense. I I think the best part of where the fuck are we going? Are we in the wrong? Are we still going the right way? 
Yep, we are. Okay. All right. See, I think the coolest part, in my opinion, about Roll20 is your ability... Motherfuckers. Fuck you guys. Um, the coolest part about Roll20 is the ability to share books. Like, the DM being able to share them. I think that part is super cool. It's better than everybody having to share a... Come on, Remus. Yeah, Remus, taking them out. Uh, having something where they could all read it simultaneously definitely be helpful versus um, having to share one book and like pass it around when people are using spells. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Well, it's cool you guys have been helping pay for it. I think that's really awesome. I think it's super cool. Because, yeah, it makes sense. Like, you put a few bucks towards it, everybody shares it, it's great. Uh, alright, they... Let's see. Get her a dagger? Or a sling? Yeah. What does he have equipped? Damn, you are equipped there, Remus. Holy shit. Tasha's cauldron and everything? I've heard about it. What's supposed to be in it, though? Alright, let's see. What can we buy? Let's some heavy clothes. And I don't have enough money. <sighs> Old school RPGs, man. <laughs> Old school RPGs. I love them, though. I, there's, like... I go to play, like, newer RPGs sometimes, and they have, like, weird battle mechanics, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? I don't know why. It's just sometimes the weird battle mechanics throw me off. Um, God damn it. I gotta switch the order next turn. But yeah, what's supposed to be in Tasha's Cauldron? Is it, like, more... What? I, yeah, what's in it? I've heard about it, but I don't know. I haven't looked into it at all. Hey, we did good. It's introducing a new way to treat race selection. So rather than having certain stat upgrades locked to specific races or recommended align alignments, it makes it more customizable. Oh, cool. Okay, do we grind another level or not? He's gonna get... Am I looking at the right person? Nine, she gets another one in one. 29. It's going to be a lot more Xanthus guys, so there's a lot of stuff being introduced. Sweet! That's cool, I'll have to pick it up too when it comes out. Come on. Let's, let's get them, let's get Alex a level up, and then Luna's level up, and then let's go to the dungeon. The cave. Okay, why are, fucking random battles. There we go. It's weird, I can hear my fan ramping up, which is really surprising because we're only using like 2% CPU for this. Dude, this is a fucking 1993 game. If this used more than like 5% of my CPU, I would be, be shocked. Hey, Luna gained a level. Alright, let's fix the order. Yes, let's do that. Okay, let's get Alex's level, and then we'll heal, and then we're jumping in. Nope. There we go. There we go, good stuff. I'll let Mary know that you want more updates on the cats. Um, I don't know if she's going to post it, but our cat Athena... I get a free dagger. Motherfucker. Dropped a dagger. No, I don't need it. I guess I could sell it. Um, it's funny that you talk about the cats, though. Um, aw, I, I'm glad you missed them. They're cute cats. Um, our cat Athena 
Mary turned on a bird watching YouTube channel uh, where it's literally just like birds just being birds and our cat Athena was like enchanted by it like sometimes I wonder if like cats watch TV like people watch TV and it kind of proves to me that at least a bird show she totally watched the TV so I'll let Mary know that you want more cat videos though or cat posts Okay, oh shit, he's almost dead. Thanks, Null. Come on, Remus, do him in. Yeah! Alex oh, gonna level. Alright. Now let's go to the cave. How's Zant doing? Speaking of cats, how's your uh how's your kitty doing? You can take it, Alex. Okay, let me check one more thing real fast. What is your movement? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put Remus in the front, because he's pretty buff. Is this not where we're supposed to go? No, we're supposed to go down further. Nope, that's not it either. God bless America. He's struggling with that hairball life, but I took him to the vet for some blood work, and he's in pristine health besides the little plaque. That's good! That's good. And, I mean, as long as the plaque isn't too major, I think you'll end up being okay. But, as far as the hairball stuff, um, I'll have to I'll have to have Mary share with you the, the food that we feed our cats. Um, if she hasn't already shared it anyways. Are you thinking about hairballs? Have I been summoned? Yeah, I'm talking to Kyle over <laughs> chat. You want to know what's going on, or you just... I'm assuming Matt has hairballs? I, I guess he's struggling with hairball stuff. Ives makes hairball food, and then Greenies also makes treats that help with hairballs. And there's also a gel you can get that comes in several different flavors that you can like put on his paw. And if he licks it up, it'll help him with hairballs. I guess he's using the Science Diet Senior Hairball Formula. I've never used the Science Diet, but I know that Gus's hairballs were way worse. So. Alright, well, hey, thanks for coming. I just love that you pop in just because <laughs> you hear hairball. Oh, Kyle says he wants more pictures and updates of the kitties. Okay, so back to the game here for a second. So we, we're in the cave, and you see this ice block here? Uh, this chunk of ice is not going anywhere. Hmm, well, let's try using the ring we got from the house. It's better than trying to chip away at this ice ball forever. Uh, okay, we gotta, do we gotta equip the ring? Fuck, how do I use it? There we go, we just have to click it again. Uh, but yeah, so, if you don't pick up the ring, you get to this point, and he's like, Oh hey, I have an old ring at the house. So then you go all the way back to the house to get the ring, and then you come all the way back here to do it. Or you can skip it and just do it up front. Okay. Dungeons in this game are... Ooh, a wood shield. Sweet. Let's give Alex the wood shield. Dungeons in this game are interesting because they're usually not that long. Um, aside from a couple, they're not that long. But they are similar. Motherfucker. Goddamn snails. Also, holy shit. Nope. Let's do that. Kill him? God damn it, these snails. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Let's try this. Nice, okay, that worked. Also, have a tube of cat lax that he gets a bit each day to help him pass the hairballs and essentially just fish paste, and Zant loves it. Well, it's good. I don't know how I feel about the name, though, of Catlax. Um, that has some kind of gross implications. Does that heal everybody? A little bit. God, really? It costs that much? Do we have any items for healing? Fuck! No, we don't. How much gold do we have? 109. God damn it, this game is hard. 
Fuck. Um, of course the spells don't say anything. Come on, Remus, kill him. Oh, there we go. I need Remus to take the hits, not Alex. Oh shit, he's gonna go after Luna. I knew that was coming. Also, we're gonna save real fast. Oh shit, wrong thing. There we go, okay, saves. I mean, it's a laxative for cats, seems pretty appropriate. Uh, it's a good, it's an appropriate name. It's definitely, you know, kind of a, kind of a gross one. Oh, nice. We killed both of them, straight up. <laughs> Alex is being hurt, and I don't have any potions or healing herbs. Hmm. Alright, what do we do here? I'm looking for items, hopefully some healing items. Shit, that's the way we came in. We've already been that way. Oh, these guys should be easy. Little blobs. Still don't like that Alex is the... It's because of his speed. He ends up getting in front because Remus is so slow. Remus gained a level, and he doesn't actually get any stat changes. Okay, what are we doing here? I like the slime animation, <laughs> yeah, where they just go, nah, they pop up. <laughs> They're pretty cool. The animations in this game is good. Again, for the fact that it came out fucking... Okay. Let's try this. Come on, Remus. Fuck! Let's try that. Let's try this. Yep, there we go. Okay. Push them away. Yeah! <laughs> Suck its nails. And Alex leveled up, which did not restore his HP. Speaking of which, we just compared, completed Blingdon Stone in Preston's campaign, went and killed the Pudding King and a ton of slimes. Hell yeah! So, uh, and my new character was reunited with Glabagul. What? I totally forgot about Glabagul. Some ghoul's great, your little, uh, your little slime buddy. Little gelatinous hooves. Let's do that. Do that. Try that. We're gonna try that. Set up. Well, at least Remus is gonna take the hits, which is what we wanted. Want Remus to attack there. 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 We should be able to take them both out. Nope, did not. Did not work how I planned. Yeah! Okay, so one of the things to know about... One of the things to know about if you're going to play this game is you basically need to have a guide on what spells do what. Because holy shit does it not explain it to you. And sometimes you don't really know what they do based on the name. Like, for example, her spell of pure f temptation. What the fuck does temptation do? I don't know. So, suggestion, if you're going to play this game, have a goddamn guide with you. Herb, hell yeah, I needed one of those. Um, I think everybody's good right now, actually, health-wise. Let's do that. 
Preston was a little upset. We were sent to either exterminate or recruit a colony of were-rats, like Mary's companion. And I net 20 a persuasion check against the leader. So it was supposed to be a session of fighting were-rats turned into a 15 minute conversation. That's rad. That's so cool. I, I loved your, the campaign with you guys. It was a lot of fun. The only thing I didn't like was uh, the fact that um, Bean kept trying to ride my character. This is not good. This is kind of bad. This is bad. Oh, that was your problem, not the constant attempts. Okay. I didn't try to sabotage the whole party. I tried to sabotage your character. Totally different situation. All I was trying to do was a little payback because you said or did something that I don't really remember what it was. <laughs> but I know you did something and whatever it was upset me. There we go. Kill that, Kill that snail. So, I feel justified in the decision that I made. Okay, I did not try to turn you into the drow, alright? That's not what I was trying to do. I wasn't really sure what I was trying to do. It was one of those spur-of-the-moment decisions. Yeah. One of those poorly received situations that I didn't really think about all the way through. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Fuck, I'm lost. Didn't pay enough attention. Mm, okay, let's do... Let's do that, actually. I... Okay, I know how it seems with what I did. That's not... Again, I was, I was off, you know, coming up with stuff on the fly. And, you know, things happen. You come up with stuff on the fly, and sometimes you don't pay enough attention to what's really going on. But hey, in the long run, we took out that dro party, so that's something, right? We uh, we managed to kill them, which was cool, in a really tough battle. Where the fuck am I going? Here we go. I was definitely the Charlie of the party. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a. Here we go. All right, quack. Hey, Bunny, what's going on? It is going great. How are you doing? My friends, you are the first adventurers to visit me in a long time. I am Quarrel, Tetrarch of the Dragon Tribe. You have journeyed far. Such and great voice acting. You've arrived at my lair. It's a journey if you have survived. Your mission must be. Okay, so I think there's a sinking problem with the cutscenes, but well, I don't really know how to fix it. But again, it doesn't cut off that much, which is fine. And the lip syncing proceed, I know, I know, it's top notch. Uh, so, fun fact the voice acting in this game was almost entirely done by employees at the office, right? So, uh, we'll get back to the game in a second. There's a fun little note. Working Designs, the company that localized uh, this game and a bunch of others, uh, had kind of a shoestring budget when it came to doing this stuff. So instead of getting like real voice actors, yeah, they just had people in the office. They're just like, hey, Greg, the art designer, do you want to play the voice of Quirk? And he was like, uh, sure. And they, you know, did some editing on it, and that's how you got Quirk. 
And, uh, Bunny, I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, I'm back. I am, uh, you know, because my work situation is really weird right now, I'm going to stream Monday through Friday. Knock on wood. So we'll see. I'm going to try, though. We'll at least try to do it. Alright, so here we are with Quirk. Ah, oh, young dragon boy. The time has come, hasn't it? You have the green eyes. When I last gazed upon the eyes like these, it was the shining face of Dian I beheld. Here, take this ring. If the desire turns to be a dragon master burns in your soul, then cross over to the mainland and seek out your destiny. Return to me with this ring once you've obtained the prize of met. <laughs> That's weird. Dragon ring received. Do you heal us? I think you heal us. Anyways, got to hammer out some work before the next meeting. I'll be, but I'll be lurking. Cool. Well, Kyle, thanks for chatting, man. Uh, I just gotta say, I, I really miss all of you in Utah. And if I ever find a chance to get out to Utah, I'm gonna let you know that I'm gonna need your couch. So, just be ready in case I come out there. You know, uh, don't worry about cleaning the couch. Just, I'll bring a blanket. So, <laughs> talk to you soon, man. Um, you over there, you look very familiar, I seem to know you. Are, are you talking to me? Yes, it's so strange that I somehow, our souls are intertwined. It must be my age. Okay, that's it. Remus, don't, ugh, fucking Remus, ask for the goddamn dryant. Here we go, we just had to talk to him a third time. Quirk, we've come to get the diamond. Diamond, what diamond? I'm talking, I think you know what I'm talking about. Why is it you humans prize, pride these things? We should look into setting up some Zoom chill sessions or something. We totally should. That'd be fun. Um, maybe just like all of us get some booster packs and open up some boosters together. Or something like that. Um, and don't you know they're made for my sh Oh, what's these? Here, take a look at this diamond. Yeah. Double bam bam. I don't believe it. That's a dragon diamond. Remus getting experience. And leveled up. Alex leveled up. And Luna leveled up. Oh boy. Wait, no. Alex. Alex, is it right? I'll be waiting for you to return as a man. Ooh, Commander Legends does come out. Cool. We'll have to look into that. That'd be fun. Okay. So. This fucking thing. This fucking thing right here. I'm not gonna spoil it. This stupid fucking ring plays a huge role in this game. And so does this harp. Both of them play a huge role in this game. And you're just thinking to yourself, Oh, well, whatever, it doesn't do anything. It does. It totally does. But anyways, we're going to get out of here. Um, so, Bunny, thanks for coming and watching. I appreciate it. I, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say, except for the fact that it's been a while since I've been streaming. It's been quite a while. Oh, fuck. Maybe i got to go through here. Maybe there's a secret. Maybe some items. Well... Oh, yeah, I don't think we do anything with this right now, I think. Alex, I don't think we should be here. Yeah, that's right. We're going to come back. This is not the last time we see Quark. We become a man. Uh, inserts Be a Man from Mulan for that. Yeah, I'm not going to sing it, but just, just know that that's what's going through my head. So, we come back when we're men. All right, let's just kill these slimes. One of the things that I love about this game, and you can tell that it comes from uh, older RPGs, is like, you get experience just for fucking doing random shit. Like, we talk to Quark, we gain 20 experience. And that's how it is throughout this whole game. You'll do stuff. Um, um, yeah, you'll do stuff like that, and you just get random fucking experience. I know someone who goes by Dine Nuiari? Nuiari? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's Dyne's last name, but Dyne, is it spelled D-Y-N-E? Because it's definitely not a common name. So, I would ask them, and hey, maybe if you ask them, that would be, uh, a cool surprise. Like, oh my god, you know my name. And it's, yeah, so, oh my god, these fucking snails. These fucking snails. Okay, we're doing okay on health. I'm trying, because there's no fucking, I did, and they mentioned some retro game, but I forgot, hey, it's probably this one, 
It is probably this one. Which is hella sweet. Take it. Yeah! Luna actually doing stuff. Uh, what's our next levels? Uh, let's see. 11. 11. Oh, that's coincidental. 18. Alright. So, I'm not going to worry about uh, Luna too much in this game. Just because she doesn't... Spoiler, she doesn't stay with the party. Which is kind of weird. Because though, like... The first version I played of this game was the uh, Game Boy version, the Game Boy Advance version, which is totally different. And when I say like totally different, I mean it's like a completely different game. And that's how it is with all the versions. Like the different versions of this game are not just like simple put on a new coat of paint. They're like full on new versions of the game, like total, like with different stories and. It's, it's yeah it's fucking it's pretty crazy so in the Game Boy Advance version and all the other versions of this game aside from this one Luna is like a pivotal character in the story you, she follows you for a really long time and all this stuff in this game not so much she's there for a little while but you better bring some herbs because you're gonna be lost uh, without her we're almost oh, uh, is this the way to go I think this is the way to go yeah I think this is the way to go he says to himself not really sure as I said I remember like the main points of this game there's little bits like fucking dungeons that I don't remember very well and I really wonder why my laptop is like occasionally is it hot no it's not even that hot hmm. weird Remus came to level. Okay, so one of the things, if you do decide to play this game yourself, which I totally suggest, um, and again, I, I, I'm i not advocating a legal... I am advocating. Um, this game is too fucking expensive to buy. Uh, and getting it is too fucking expensive. So, definitely... Oh, fuck. I didn't pay enough attention to his health. Please, no, no, fuck! That's not what I meant to do! God damn it. Alright, well that's fine. Except for his health is shitty. Let's do one more. Hard. <laughs> it's silly. But uh can I get MP restored at this place? Let's see. This is trying God's beauty and love. What's your business here? I would like to rest. Does it restore her MP? Oh, they do! They do restore your MP. Well, alright then. That's pretty great. Um, yeah, so when you're playing this game, which, Bunny, I don't know how you feel about RPGs. I think, from what we've talked about, you do like them. I would totally suggest this game. Or, I might actually suggest Eternal Blue, the sequel, over this game. Eternal Blue, even if you play the Sega CD version, is just a lot more refined. So, for example, in this game, you don't know what equipment, like, makes you better. It doesn't tell you. It doesn't show your improvement on equipment. You have to actually, like, equip it and then look at the difference in the stats to see what it looks like. Yes, if you're an RPG fan, like, I would suggest Eternal Blue. Yeah, definitely play Eternal Blue either on the Sega CD or the PlayStation. Um, or play Lunar on any of the other, like, five consoles you can play it on. Uh, and again, if you're watching this, it doesn't really spoil anything because the other games are so different. They're just entirely different. Like, just in the mechanics and the way things work. They're just totally different games. Yeah, taking out those monkeys! 
Question is, should we gain one more level? 45, no, that's a lot. 40. Yeah, I'm not going to try to level up again. That would take, like, 15 battles. I, don't, I think we're fine. Because what level are we? Six. Is the story good in your opinion? Yes. I would say the story in Eternal Blue... So the story in Eternal Blue is basically... You're just, like, a random adventurer. Uh, or You're not even an adventurer. You're, like, a... Uh, a temple. What the fuck is the term? You're like a temple thief? No, you're not really a thief. Treasure hunter. That's right. That's the word I'm looking for. You're a treasure hunter. And so, as a treasure hunter, you go to these different dungeons, all that. And magically, one day, this beam appears at the top of a temple. And this blue-haired chick that's naked shows up. And, yeah, you go off and you have, like, this quest where you have to find the goddess Athena. Uh, it's great. The story in this one's really good, too. If you're looking for, like, the best story in this one, I would say the PlayStation 1 version has the best story. Um, yeah, I'd say the PS1 version has the best story. But why am I playing this one? I love this one, because it's just charming. It's a charming game. Anyways, Alex, this time is going to make us rich. I can almost taste the money we're going to get. All right, let's go to the store. So I think we want to go to the store first. What's up, bud? I think the river rose because the spring saw that... Because the spring thaw, but others aren't so sure. Now that the bridge is washed out, we can't get it safe for supplies. Let's talk to the state. Are you looking for today? What can I do for you? Uh, we are going to buy a couple herbs. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that. I'm trying to remember who we got to talk to for this. Maybe talk to his dad first? Yeah, I think we're going to talk to his dad first. Still busy in front of him. <laughs> He's one of the largest kids I've ever laid eyes on. What? Womp womp. Remus, you should be helping out more around the house. Yes, father, I know. Come on, Alex, let's spit before he starts. Responsibility Street number 2543. I know we're supposed to talk to... Maybe it's this guy we're supposed to talk to about the diamond? Okay, no. Who the fuck were we supposed to talk about about the diamond? I don't think it's these people. Okay, they're telling us about the temples. Talking about the fact that we got a ring. This is the locked door. What do you say? Yeah, we got to see Quark, which I don't even know if it said his name. Did he say his name? I don't know. Must have. Okay, so let's go back to our house, maybe? Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Alright, let's go back to our house and see. Alright, buddy, I got a question for you while I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do. What is... Your favorite RPG based on story. The story RPG. I don't to get that ring. What from the White Dragon? I can't believe you were able to meet him. I'm proud that you were strong enough, but wow. Okay, that doesn't help us. Even when you were a little rugrat, <laughs> I knew you turned to adventuring one day. What the fuck are we supposed to do with the goddamn ring? Uh, do I have to... That's going to take some thought. I feel ya. I feel ya. Okay. God damn it. What am I supposed to... Maybe here? Do I gotta, like, show off the ring? Not to him. I swear to God, you gotta show it to one of these guys. <sighs> okay, this might be... This might be, uh... A, uh... 
Game facts time. Yeah, okay. We're gonna look this up. Because I honestly don't want to spend 30 minutes in this town just trying to figure out who to talk to. If I could fucking type. Alright, there we go. Game facts. Hell yeah, this will save us. I totally agree on both of those answers, Near Automata and Final Fantasy X. 100% agree on that. Uh, God damn it, let's do this one. No, I don't need... No, I need... Here you go, let's try this one. I... It's funny, because I hated Final Fantasy X for a long time. I was just like, this game's fucking stupid, all of that. And then, I actually played through it for more than 10 minutes, and I fell in love with that game. Final Fantasy X is just, the storytelling is amazing, and not, I know I said not to talk about the combat on it, like, no, that wasn't the focus, but the combat on it is great. Okay. Wall chest. I'm just reading this. Okay, I know that I'm supposed to... When they first come out, they don't seem that good, but later, late, uh, later, a lot of them have grown on me. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. The only exception is Final Fantasy VIII. Um, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Let's try that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know what I gotta do. Oh my gosh, I can't buy a diamond like this. I don't have enough money. <laughs> you have to go to a big city like Merbia to unload this baby. Wow, that is a great rock. Merbia is a port town on the main continent. I'm sure we can sell it there. The boat to Merbia takes off from Saith. Let's go. What is my favorite in terms of story? Uh... I know it, but I'm... Embarrassed isn't the right word. It's just, it's not... My favorite game in terms of story is just one of my favorite games of all time. And let's... Let's save that. Yeah, my favorite game of all time would have to be... And this this is like story-wise and then just everything-wise. Is I Am Setsuna, for sure. The, the story in that game is just... I loved it. People fucking shit on it, but I thought it was so cool. The I just the idea of like going off to your uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I know. Wow, like people shit on I am Setsuna, and I don't know why, because it's such a good game. You do own it. Well, I totally suggest playing it if you haven't. Uh, oh fuck, is he? Please tell me he's level 6. 7. Okay. Yeah, I, I totally think you should play I Am Setsuna. For sure. It's just... It's a good game. The The story is pretty simple. And to be honest, the landscape, like... It doesn't change a lot. So, like, you just end up playing in areas with lots of snow. And that's the whole game through. You go through, like, dungeons and stuff like that. But most of the game is just lots of snow. But I love that aesthetic. There's something about it that I really like. Like, uh, there's another game I was playing that was full of snow. I just, I just really like it. But the story is cool. Um, without spoiling too much, like, the basic premise of the game is this girl, Setsuna. Um, this girl, Setsuna, is just, like, off on a pilgrimage to sacrifice herself uh, to save the world. And I just think that's really... I don't know why. I just really like the gameplay. 
So, I know people shit on the gameplay because... I think one of the problems is, is people got it in their heads that it was going to be Chrono Trigger. And it kind of is, but not really. It has some aspects of Chrono Trigger, but it's really not a Chrono Trigger game. So I think that's part of the problem that people had with the, the combat. And that's the thing, is people overlook... Um, yeah, people overlook the story for the combat. It was very reminiscent of Final Fantasy X. Yes. It's the the same idea of like going on a pilgrimage um, from Final Fantasy X is very much the same in Final Fan or in I Am Setsuna. Um, and it's not perfect. Like the main character in the game is like your stereotypical uh, JRPG main character, but it's the other characters are great. There, there's one character that I love in that game. Well, there's a couple. All right, let's talk to this person. So we're going to talk to this guy. He's like, wouldn't you know it? Now I can fix the bridge, but I lost my axe. Where did I leave it? I think it was with my shed in the weird woods. Say, if you go along the river and head due north, you'll get to the weird woods. In the woods, my husband was has a storage shed where he sometimes sleeps. I'm sure he left his axe in the set. I go myself, but there are too many monsters in the woods lately. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's go get it, Alex. Let's do it. Yeah, if you liked the story in Final Fantasy X, I think you'd like the story in I Am Setsuna. It's very similar without being a total copycat. What's our health like? I, sh I really should be paying more attention to this. Our health's good. Okay. Can't go across the bridge here. Uh, she just says follow it north, so I think we're supposed to go up this way. If I remember right. Yep, just supposed to go up this way. Pretty easy stuff. Again, you do a little bit of leveling, and you're good. At least for a while. Except Remus is getting hit. Yes. Yeah, the... <laughs> it's... <laughs> I just realized that the both games uh, have, like, getting attacked on a boat. That's weird. Okay, maybe it is a little similar to Final Fantasy X, but... Yeah! <laughs> well, it's good, though. If you liked Final Fantasy X, I think you'll like I Am Setsuna. Okay, let's go up this way. I'm supposed to go around here. That's, that's another weird thing about this game, is... Oh, what the fuck just happened? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck the bees! Bees are awful in this game. I think there is like a... Here we go. Here's the weird woods. Be the weird words, Alex. They're supposed to be haunted. Thanks, Nal. Great commentary. What the fuck? I do not remember those guys. Uh, okay. Nope, nope. Don't do AI. Do you want her to sing? The bees are fast. They're just giant pain in the ass. Fuck, I did not mean to use it again. I mean, we, we needed the health. It was fine. Nope. There we go. Well, these guys are fucking horrifying. Like, swamp thing monsters. Yeah, Luna gained a level. Sweet! Heavy clothes. Maybe we can equip Luna with some? No? Already got him? Already got him. Well, shit. 
Okay. Well, let's equip an herb or two. Oh man, I'm just there's there's one. So I feel like both lunar games have one area in them that are just like meant to fuck with you. Ooh, I got a tiara. Yeah, I would say totally check out I Am Setsuna. Ooh, Tales of Berseria! That game was great! Oh, I love it! Oh, I just... I'm really excited by that. <laughs> that game is so good. Uh, what do you think of it? Let's see. Yeah! We're meeting a hero. Kinda. I'm Lank, a traveler. Ah, shit! Oh, there we go. Seems like a bunch of nice kids. What are you doing here? What, you're on an adventure like your hero of dying? Ha <laughs> ha, that's rich. Well then, carry on. Thanks, man. You got anything else to say? Doesn't seem like a little friendly for a stranger. I really like the story, but I'm confused by the combat. The, the combat takes some getting used to. I, like... Yeah, I button mash it open, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, we're gonna try this. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, Luna! Okay, that was pretty good. That's a good spell. I button mash and win, but I don't know what I'm doing. That's a lot of it. Um, you really, like, you just gotta figure out, like, the the combo. Like, I had a hard time with it, too. I'm not gonna lie. Like, looking back on it, I, di I don't remember it that well. <laughs> it was fun. Um, but yeah, I'll agree the combat in that game. And combat in all of the Tales of games are a little tricky. What just happened? What just happened? Oh, I did the wrong fucking spell. God damn it. You're 15 hours in? Yeah. Um, be ready. Oh, really? Lava set? Lava set's cute. Um. I can't remember her name. And it's probably just my silly aesthetic, but I really like uh, Manjalu. On oh, what's her name? What the fuck is her name? The the like uh, Manjalu. Yeah, Manjalu's great. There we go. Let's go back and can fix the bridge. Wait, is there something else in here? Something else for me? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, Manjalu. Yeah, like how her skirt is made of books. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just I love Modulu. I think she's super cute. Her, I'm glad you think so. Yeah, her di design is awesome. People like, I can't remember what video I was watching, but someone considered her like one of the worst uh, party members in all of uh, video games. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's wonderful. Okay, we just gotta get out of here. Let's... Shit, she's running out of MP. Well, we don't have her that much longer, so I'm not too worried about it. Fuck! Fuck the bees! I feel like I'm goddamn Nicolas Cage up in here. I kind of think the same way. Her her attitude is more just delightful. God damn it, Remus is getting hit hard by these guys. Fuck, one more attack like that is... I just, I really don't want to use my herbs. 
I would rather use her MP right now. Fuck! Just fucking kill these guys. I just gotta burn through it. I know, old MVG encounter rights. It's super random. Please kill this guy. Please kill this guy. I just need to get the fuck out of here. No! God damn it. Boy, that's a big tree. What if it's got enough wood in it to fix the bridge? That's random. Ugh. Okay, we're fine. This is fine. I'm just- I'm running out of fucking healing spells. <laughs> the buffs that never knew how to be a person. I, that's not really funny, that's actually kind of sad in the context of the game, but I think that's funny that you brought it up. Fuck! Kill him! Thank you. No, fuck! I didn't mean to heal! I didn't mean to heal! Self, self agency. Yeah, um, I don't know why. I just remember a part on a boat. Alright, I swear to god. Let's just run. Let's get the fuck out of here. There we go. Okay, cool. My god. I fucking hate the bees. I'm just sitting here in silence because I fucking hate the bees. Do I get out of here again? I gotta go down this way. Okay. Are there any other Tales games I like? I have played... Uh, Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia is one that you should totally play. Fucking bees. Fuck you, bees! Um, Tales of Symphonia is like... For most people, is like the seminal... Uh... Some, yeah, the, like, the defining Tales game, for sure. Uh, it came out on the GameCube, but it is available on Steam. So you can totally pick it up. Uh, I Yeah, that's the one that I would suggest is your next one, Tales of Symphonia. The combat's a little bit different than the... Oh, motherfucker. I think I just gotta go up here. Yeah, the combat's a little bit different in, than in Tales of Berseria. And in fact, I think you'd like it better. Um, the combat's a little bit easier. Then Tales of Symphonia? Can we... Did that heal us? It did! Alright, sweet. I mean, we just leveled up. 10, a, a, 10 experience to level up again. Yeah, he'll level up in his own time. But yeah, Tales of Symphonia is for sure. Um, if you have a... I wonder if it came out on Steam. I don't know. Uh, Tales of Vesperia? is another one that's really good. I haven't beaten that one. Uh, I have it on the Switch, and I really like what i played so far. So yeah, Tales of Symphonia, I think, is another one. Uh, is the combat dated? No. No, not at all. The combat in uh, both of them... Um, I, I mean, it came out on the GameCube, so... But yeah, the Tales of Symphonia, I think the combat is great. Um, Tales of uh, Vesperia, I think, is really good as well. I, especially the remake is really good. And so the big difference between uh, Tales of Berseria, which I, well, I might be butchering it, um, but the difference between Berseria and Symphonia is that in Symphonia, 
you're how do I put this? Instead of being like fully 3D, it's you basically you move left and right to like attack and move forward, but you can sidestep and you can sort of move around enemies, but the actual like section of combat, you're just going left and right, uh two-dimensionally. So that's just one thing to consider about it. But I think in that aspect it makes it easier. It makes it easier to approach. Enlarges that. Ah, my axe! You found my axe! It was in the shed that I thought, wasn't it? Well, anyways, now I can get to work fixing that bridge. Thanks again. Thanks, buddy. Let me just gain experience points. Alex and let me gain experience points. Yeah, maybe it's, it. It is. Let's see. <laughs> you might want to check back a little later. Yeah, I, I think it makes the game uh, a little bit easier to play. He hasn't fixed the bridge yet. We gotta go back. I think we gotta go back to the house. So yeah, I think Tales of Symphonia is the one that you should play next, for sure. In terms of, like, if you're gonna play a Tales of game. And that's the one that, like, if you talk to people, that's the one that they're gonna talk about as one of their favorites. The, the story's pretty good, too. The story's pretty good. I like the story in Tales of Viseria better, but I think both are good. How's, how's he doing? He's good. Alright, so we're gonna go back here. Talk to this guy. I was taking a little break. The bridge will be finished very soon. Fucking <laughs> god damn it, dude. We go back. There he is again. Oh, god damn it. He's gonna keep doing that. Okay. I think... Do I gotta go back to the hometown first? Yeah, go back to the hometown. Yep, let's go back to the hometown. Get a couple of beetles. Yeah, I think I'm just kind of thinking about it silently while I stare into the the abyss that is this battles. Uh, if you like Tales of Berseria, I think your next game should be uh, Tales of Symphonia, and then somewhere in there, sprinkle in a little I Am Satsuna. Either way, you're not gonna you're not gonna lose out. Um, that's my dad's game. You should ask your dad too. All right, let's do it. See, that's what you're supposed to do. Remus's dad is gonna be all upset about it, and for some reason, my dad's super cool with it, if I remember right. Let's go talk to Pops. No, I think I'll definitely do Symphonia or Setsuna next. Yes, that's secretly what I was hoping you would say. What you going to cross over the mainland? I suppose that all boys are adventurers at heart. I won't stand your way. Let me write you a letter that may help you get a boat to take you to the state. Don't worry about your mother. I'll handle her. All I ask is that you promise me never to settle for less than everything. You grab her a chance. Blah. I can talk. Yeah, I got the letter. From what I hear, it's only 25. Yeah, I if you like grind and stuff, uh, and if you try to get like all the weapons, um, you can easily beat it in twenty five to thirty hours for sure. Yeah, it's not like uh, Persona Five, where like it's over a hundred hour game. Uh, I can start a big adventure. We got Remus back. Uh, let's go sell some stuff. Right, let's see. Okay. Uh, I have not played Persona 5 Royal. In fact, I have not beaten Persona 5. I'm like five hours in on Persona 5, but the uh, computer, or not the computer, the PlayStation 4 is uh, hotly, uh, hotly, what's the term I'm looking for? Um, is something that is always in use. I don't know, that's not the words I'm really looking for. Um, my wife and I compete for usage of the PS4. Or PS, yeah, PS4. And so, right now she's playing Ghost of Tsushima. And so that's why I'm playing Persona 3 right now in my own free time. But, 
Uh, have you played Persona 5 Royal? I hear it's really good. Yeah, let's use the bridge back up. Yep, there we go. There's the bridge. Alright. Now we can head south. Uh, no, she's not playing the new DLC yet. She's still, um, she's still just in the main game. Yeah, I, um, so, not to make a short story long, but to make a short story long, I had a Razer laptop. I had the Razer Blade 15, and I loved it. I, it was amazing. It was, like... It was like my dream laptop, you know? Like, I played 60 hours, but I made the great mistake of not finishing it. Um, it's my, it might be worth going back and finishing. Again, I, I can't really share my opinion on it yet, but if it's anything like um, a Persona 4, then it's great. And you have to start over? Why do you have to start over? Where the fuck am I going here? Oh, where am I going here? Is there something special out here? Rearrange my legs. Okay, we're, we're fun on health. We're totally fun. Okay, that's super true. <laughs> um, it's funny you say that, because that's been my experience with uh, Final Fantasy XV. Um, yeah, she gained a level. Yeah, that totally has been my experience with Final Fantasy XV. Is like, I'll start playing it, and I'll get like five hours in, and then I'll get distracted, do something else, and then it's like, oh shit, I want to play it, but now I gotta start all over. Which is why I say grave mistake. <laughs> Is he poisoned? He's poisoned. Does he stay poisoned after battle? I hope he doesn't stay poisoned. No, he's not poisoned yet. Okay, good. Let's head south. Let's grab one of these. Thankfully, these are all about. There are a lot of those uh, life sim aspects of the game, which are for me are interesting. Other times, not so. Uh, I. That's fair. That's fair. I can I can understand that. Fucking bees. That, yeah, I think that's valid. You know, if you're looking, I feel like Persona games have a lot of action in them. Um, but they also have just a lot of story. Um, and that can be a little, uh, can be a little boring, I think is the honest answer. Is a fucking tower here? Uh, yeah, we gotta get through that tower at some point. Fucking A. So we have this town. Welcome to the port city is safe. Did you journey from Berg? Oh, I see. So the Bergen Bridge is now fixed. I'm so relieved to hear that. Yeah, man. Any item shops? Weapons, weapons. Lots of buildings. What's in here? What do you got to say? Uh, do I only know about the four heroes? Of course, who doesn't? Don't you lie, you don't know anything about them at all. <laughs> but I do, I've played this game before. Believe me. What do you got to say, buddy? Come a little closer. Ah, there, there we can look at you. My adventurers. This is the first time I've seen adventurers in some time. You remind me of the young Dine. He became one of the four heroes after setting out on an adventure. On his way to Merbia long ago, Dine met up with Master Mel, who was one of the most feared pirates on the high seas. After fighting for seven days, the two were so worn out, they didn't care to draw. After that, Master Mel settled down to a quiet life in Merbia. While Dine... Oh, I'm getting old. And so is the story. You know it. I do. Um. Oh, 
Let's see, what are we doing here? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat. I have not, I've been up for a while today and I haven't eaten yet. So, uh, that's where we'll conclude today. Uh, Bunny, thank you for joining. I, I'm so glad to hear from you. I'm glad you're doing well. And I'm glad we can talk about video games while playing video games. I am going to start trying to stream uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, so, yeah, feel free to join. And that'll be, that'll be good. So, yeah, join 11 a.m. I'm going to continue this game tomorrow. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Talk to you soon. And here I go trying to stop it.